This is the uh, oldest part of the city of Cairo and uh, it's so old that the term Cairo is actually a later term. This may actually be here that we're walking into the oldest church, the oldest Christian church in the world. So being uh, a shrine, you are of course not allowed to film inside, but this could very well be the oldest church on the planet, dating from somewhere around 60 AD. And it's even noted in the Bible that the Holy Family of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus fled to Cairo, or at least fled to Egypt, during the persecution times of Herod. And then when Herod died, they were able to leave. They may have lived in Egypt, in fact in Cairo, for three years and six months. Again, this is one of the, or this is the oldest part of Cairo prior to it even being known as Cairo and we even saw inside that church possible evidence of Comitian columns. The Comitian culture preceded the dynastic Egyptians and that has been the essence or focus of our entire trip is to find evidence of the ancient Comitians who technologically were superior to any culture that came after them, including the dynastic Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans, the Christians, and all the others. Up until this day. Now we're walking towards the Ben Ezra Synagogue, which could very well be one of the oldest synagogues in the world, at least one which is still in existence. Again, this is in ancient Cairo. Cairo before it was known as Cairo. So the Ben Ezra synagogue in Cairo could be one of the oldest intact synagogues on earth. And inside, of course, we were not allowed to photograph or film, but you see the influence of the location, as in there seemed to be Moorish influence um, and the influence of the other cultures that have lived in this area for centuries. Um, and contrary to many people's thought, the, at least in this area, it seems very much so that the Muslims, the Christians, and the Jewish people not only got along quite well for extend, very extended periods of time, but in fact worked with each other. Uh, different belief systems seem to have spawned expertise in different fields, and so one belief system would hire those of another belief system because of their expertise in, for example, accounting or uh, sculpture, etc. So, actually, we're now standing right in front of a mosque. So you have an ancient Christian church next to an ancient synagogue next to the remains of an ancient mosque. The harmony of belief systems, which is what this world needs. Less division, more understanding. This is inside a mosque in Cairo, actually on a hill above Cairo, where the huge Muhammad Ali, not the boxer, but the original Muhammad Ali where his um, complex is. And as a woodworker and having worked a little bit in stone, I am completely blown away by the craftsmanship of the Islamic artists. This is a combination of stone and mother of pearl, almost perfectly fitting together. And almost equally or possibly more astonishing is the work in wood. Because this is my finger and you see the detail of the workmanship. Again, 
It looks like a combination of bone or ivory, probably ivory, and wood. The craftsmanship here, I think is absolutely world-class. Would have taken patience, diligence, training, and experience to create this work. And that's part of the reason why Cairo is so fascinating, because you have so many different periods of cultures that existed here.